the simplest way to organize tasks. That's what we're talking about today. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Putting tasks into a task manager is easy, but when you get a bunch of them in there, how do you see what you need to see when you need to see it? Well, that was always the allure of the paper planner. You're intentionally planning tasks for certain days. But the downside is whenever something doesn't get done today, it's got to be rewritten and all that's very time consuming. I talked about organizing that list in a post called Remember the Milk, What's the Best Way to Sort Tasks? But today we're going to look at the same principle in other task managers as well. Regardless of what you use, give every task a due date. That date answers the question, when do I want to see that task again? Not the deadline. If a task has a real true drop dead deadline, I simply add that as a part of the name of the task. I have to get the income tax returns in the mail by April 15th. I want to see that on April 1st so that I can act on it. I also see the actual deadline. Any task list is going to allow you to sort the list by due date. That's going to put the overdue items and those due today at the top. The good task managers also have a today button. Click it and there your task for the day. The thing that really makes the list helpful is the ability to sort tasks within the day. I want to see my list for today broken up into four segments. First, my Fab Five. If I only get five tasks done today, what will they be? Then, tasks for the morning, tasks for the afternoon, and tasks for the evening. So how do I get those sections? Priorities. Every task gets a priority as well as a due date. Most of the task lists that I'm going to show you today have four levels of priority. So the idea is we can click that Today button and see all the tasks for today, but then we sort by priority to segment the day. So if I want to move something higher or lower on the list, I can simply change the priority for that task, and the task immediately moves to its new location. So what about the tasks that don't get done today? Ideally, when you click that Today button, those overdue tasks automatically migrate in with the things that are due today. We'll show you some lists where that happens and others where it doesn't. Let's look at some different task managers. First is my favorite. Remember the milk. The red is my Fab Five. The dark blue is the morning, the light blue is the afternoon, and the light gray is the evening. In the upper right corner, I've chosen to sort by priority. Now, if you're a Remember the Milk user with a paid account, I have this video that's going to show you an additional sort that I'm able to add. Now, here's how those same tasks would look in Todoist. The tasks are spaced more vertically, so only half as many tasks would be visible on the screen at one time. Here's the other half of the task that you saw before in Remember the Milk. In the upper right, you see a menu where you can select to sort by priority. Here's how that same list would look on a mobile device in Todoist. What if you use a sauna? Well, on a sauna, priority is not a field that you have. What you can do is create sections that say Fab Five, morning, afternoon, and evening. To do that, click the drop down beside the Add Task button. You're then going to need to drag and drop tasks into the proper sections, but the drag and drop feature works very well on Asana. These three screens show how the same list of tasks would look on the Asana app. Next is Tick Tick. The look and feel of Tick Tick is very similar to Remember the Milk. I'm able to display almost as many tasks on the screen at one time as I did on Remember the Milk. You see only five tasks where you'd have to scroll to a second screen. In the upper right, I'm able to choose to sort by priority. Here are the same tasks on the Tick Tick app. Evernote has added a tasks feature. The power of Evernote tasks is that you can add tasks within a note while you're taking notes. For example, here's a screenshot of the notes I'm using to prepare this video. If I think of a to-do related to this note, I don't have to leave the note. 
I can put the task right there in the body of that note. I'll be sure to give that task a due date. At this time, Evernote does not have priorities, but what they do have is the ability to flag the task. All tasks from all notes are aggregated into one list, and each task links back to the appropriate note. On the task list, I'll sort by relevance. If something's going to be a Fab Five for me, I would simply flag it. The relevant sort would move it up on the list. So when I get those five done, I could look at other tasks and flag them and move them up. Here's what Evernote task would look like on your mobile device. Next up is Toodle Do. Here are those same tasks that you saw before, and all of them fit on one screen, so it's more compact. I've clicked the Today button and sorted by priority. The list displays nicely with a divider for each priority, but any task not completed will not display the next day when I click the Today button. They'll be in a section for overdue tasks. You will see a prompt at the bottom of the screen allowing you to change the due date for overdue items, but I hesitate to do that because of what may happen with my repeating tasks. I don't want to mess up that repeating pattern. So here's what I would recommend on Toodle Do. Instead of clicking the Today button and working from that list, choose to see All Tasks. Toodle Do allows you for three levels of sort, even with the free program, and that's going to help you. That's a big plus. So you'll see that the sort orders in the upper right, first, sort by due date. For the second sort, choose Priority. Now you'll be seeing a list of every task sorted by due date, and within each date, you'll be seeing those items sorted by priority. Notice how the priority is displayed both by color and by word. You can see the Fab Five, morning, afternoon, and evening. Power users of Do can make great use of sorting by something called importance. Sorting by importance and the use of the star to manually move items up and down a division gives Toodle Do users great flexibility, but getting into that would be a video unto itself. Here's a shot of those same tasks as they would appear in the Toodle Do app if sorted by priority. Next, let's look at Outlook. Now, in Outlook, we don't have a Today button, so just like Toodle Do, we'd want to sort the list by due date and within each day by priority. Right-click anywhere in the header to bring up a settings box, allowing you to sort. Clicking it brings up a second window, allowing you to sort first by date and then by priority. Now, Outlook only allows you three levels of priority. For me, High would be my Fab Five. Medium could be things at work and low for things at home. As with Evernote, after completing the Fab Five, you could re-examine and promote several more tasks to that high priority. Here are the same tasks displayed on the To Do app, the app which syncs with Outlook. Now, you and I have plenty of tasks for which there's really no due date. They're what getting things done would call the someday maybe list or other systems would call the master list. One easy thing to do is to give those tasks a due date of the last day of the month. So if you have additional time, you can scroll down and reassign some dates to pull some of those more into the present. Plus, there's no way you're going to forget about them. At the end of the month, they present themselves when you open your task list. There's your trigger to determine which ones you're going to reassign for a month down the road and do so in mass, and which ones you're going to assign to specific days for the coming month. So in summary, regardless of what you use, give every task a due date. Give every task a priority. Now you've got a list in the order you can use. Just work the list. If you enjoy what you see in this video and think it'll be helpful, take a look at these two videos right over here and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos. Thanks for stopping by. This has been Frank Buck, 
helping you get organized and make it look easy.